Tuning in. Welcome back to Home Buying Tips. In today's episode you will learn about 5 first time home buyer programs. If you haven't already done so please subscribe to this channel, like the video, leave a comment, and share this with a friend. Thank you. So let us go ahead and get into the creation of the Federal Housing Authority, which was started back in the year 1934. It has been the American dream to actually own your home. Yet, only 64% of all Americans own a home, the rest are renters. So here is the five programs that you should be looking into, which should help you get into that new home of yours. We will lead off with the most common type of loan. This loan you should be able to get which is an FHA loan. The reason why this loan is so appealing to a lot of first-time home buyers is because underneath that loan product is a lot of different types of loans. These other loans you may be able to qualify for. This is not only on the federal level it goes all the way down to the state and city level. Now with the FHA loan you will have to come up with a down payment. However that down payment is not as much as you would think. An FHA loan down payment is only 3.5%. Yes, only 3.5% which is far less than the traditional 20% down payment. So if anyone tells you that you need 20% down to buy a house, look at them and smile, because you know better. You should ask your local loan office more about any other state or city bank programs that enables you to get a home loan with a down payment assistance. It is important to note that, you will still have buyer's closing cost. A buyer's closing cost generally accounts for about 2-4% to of the sales price. Let's use some real numbers, let's say that you are buying a house that costs $300,000. At a price tag of $300,000, and using the 2 to 4% the closing cost would be anywhere between six dollars to $12,000. This is very important for you to know. Not only will you need to have a down payment but you will also have closing cost. As we move on, and turn our focus to the next home loan that can benefit first time home buyers, this next loan that I am going to talk about is. VA loan, and no VA does not stand for Virginia in this case. It stands for the Veterans Affairs. If you are wondering who does this apply to, then I will tell you. It applies to the active duty, the service personnel, the reservist, the retirees, and the veterans. There may be more but you get the gist. I think this loan is really really nifty, just because it is an actual zero down loan. Yes you heard me correctly, a zero down loan. Now a zero down does not mean you won't have to put some money up. Because you will have what they call a funding fee. Check your local office for details for the funding fee. Now with that funding fee, it is better to know now so you can really budget all your cost. Now it is commonly asked by veteran and people in active duty, how many times can I use the VA loan program? Well the answer to that question is simple. As many times as you want. As long as, the former VA loan is paid off before you decide to reuse it. Oh. Also you will need to have your certificate of eligibility reinstated. And if you are in Illinois I would be happy to get you in contact with a couple of great loan officers that I work with frequently, and let them explain how the program works. Now, the third type of first time home buyer program is real interesting, and it is not going to impact a huge amount of people, but it is still an awesome loan program. If you are looking for a home in the rural area of the country, there is a Department of Agriculture Rural Development Loan, also known as USDA Loan. This USDA loan will help people buy or renovate homes. If you are looking to purchase a home outside the rural area, then there will be certain requirements that have to be met for the Department of Agriculture to say, Way well, yes, we will extend this rural development loan to you. However as you are in one of those less densely populated areas of the country, the USDA loan may be right for you. Like the FHA there are a lot of different loan underneath the USDA loan that you can benefit from as a first time home buyer. So, going into the fourth type of home buyer loan program. And I think that this one is really really cool. I mean, all the programs in this video is really really cool. But in this case this is real interesting. Because it falls underneath the humanity. The habitat for humanity to be exact. You see, what the habitat for humanity do? is they get a lot of volunteers and they start framing homes, they start building homes, and they will do home building blitz for low income and moderate income families. Now you can imagine, they can only build so many of these homes in any given area, at any given time. 
so they do have some requirements. These requirements have to be met to be able to qualify. Generally what they are looking for right now is that you have a household income that is roughly 30 to 50 percent. So, since you have to have a median income that is equivalent to 30 to 50 percent of the average median income of your area. To help you understand here is an example. If your area's average median income is $42,000 a year, and the maximum you need is to be at 50 percent of that, then all you need to be making is $21,000 for the year to qualify. The next requirement is that you need to be a United States citizen, or a legal resident. You also have to be receiving regular paychecks that fall within the minimum and maximum amounts of what is required, this is also depending on the size of your household. You also need to have had a savings account for a little while, and good credit. Now it is also important to note, that there is a little bit of a trade-off here. Because they would require a down payment also. However, that down payment is only a $1,000. Oh, come on that is not much. When you look at this down payment compared to others. This loan rocks. This is only a $1,000 which is better than most, well, except the VA loan which is a zero down. If you really think about it, you can probably get your hands on $1,000 by next week if you had to. I know we may even go out and collect cans if we had to. Well, I know I would. I mean if all I needed to come up with is $1,000 to get my first house that would be fantastic. Now here is your trade-off. You will have to perform anywhere between 300 to 500 hours of community service, generally in helping the Habitat for Humanity itself. You would be helping them build homes. This is their way, and yours, to pay it forward. After you'll move into your home you are going to help another family move in their new home. And the cycle repeats itself. There is more, you will have to attend some homeowner education courses. Don't worry with all of this going on you will be a strong and solid homeowner. If you are curious about the Habitat for Humanity type of home ownership, then you should probably contact your local Habitat for Humanity and see what their application are, when are their application deadlines are, and if you can be put on their waiting list. Now the fifth type is another goodie. It is for all those that live here in Illinois. If you are interested in buying a home in Boone, Cook, DeKalb, Fulton, Kane, Marion, McHenry, St. Clair, Will, or Winnebago counties, First Home Illinois is the product for you. It combines a 30-year fixed rate mortgage with a $7,500 down payment assistance grant. First Home Illinois is tailored for first-time home buyers, veterans, or anyone who hasn't owned a home in the last three years. Buying a home can be an exciting and intimidating process. With High HDA Mortgage, we strive to make the process as streamlined as possible, so you can achieve your goal of home ownership. Through our network of trusted partners, you will have someone with you every step of the way, to help you purchase your home. And by using an IHDA mortgage product, we will ensure that you can afford the home you buy. Our programs offer safe, fixed interest loans at affordable rates. Qualified home buyers can receive down payment and closing cost assistance. We are now proud to introduce our Access Mortgage Program. Whether you are a first time or repeat home buyer, the Access Mortgage Program has a down payment option to meet your needs. Available statewide, each mortgage option comes with an affordable, fixed interest rate, and up to $10,000, to assist eligible borrowers with their down payment, and closing costs for the purchase of a new or existing home. Home ownership may be closer than you think. Take the first step and find the option that's right for you. Learn more about our new Access Mortgage Program now.